Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a piece by Fernando Bustamante called La Missionera. This arrangement is heavily based on Georges Morel's version, which uh, was a transcription of the original piano work. Some people believe it's also was also harp work. Missionera, which means woman from the missions, is inspired by a Paraguayan dance. It's in 3-4, and we're going to be looking at the first 16 bars in this video. What I like about it is that it has um, a chordal accompaniment, a melody in the bass, and also a melody on the top two strings. It has a lively tempo, and, and it's a really great guitar arrangement. So the first four bars is an A minor pattern, um, with the bass playing a melody with a thumb, and the, the top two notes complete the A minor chord. And you play these with the I and the M. So we have the bass part. Notice that I'm holding the A minor chord down because you're going to be using those notes. Um, so you have to play the C and the F with the fourth finger. All right, so we're alternating, you know, kind of, we're alternating thumb and then I am together as such. So straight away that'll provide a bit of a challenge for some of you who aren't used to using your pinky in that way. So you might want to just start practicing it like that uh, with or without these fingers down. Um, so that's sort of the main challenge at the start and also just getting that, that in alternating pattern going. And that really sets the dance up. Uh, in the opening intro, I played it fairly quickly. So in, in a performance context, I do play it quite fast, but it works reasonably well slow as well. Okay, so the next four bars, we introduce the main melody, which is just F for three beats, E for three beats, F for three beats, E for three beats. And that happens on top of that introduction motive that we just played. So uh, you're going to have to play that with your A finger because your I and the M fingers are going to be playing the second and third string. So let's give that a go. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. If you can get this first part, then this next bit, you're just going to be playing the thumb with the A finger on the first beat of each note. I should also mention that to play that F, you're going to have to collapse the first finger. So you're playing both of those notes, F and E together. Uh, that's really the only way you can do it. So you have to collapse that finger, much like you do for like a D minor chord or an F chord. And then you lift it. It might seem a bit tricky at the start, uh, but you can sort of practice that and you should be able to get that. So I'd be practicing the intro and then into the, the melody. Now we get a little bit of a uh, syncopated pattern on top. So the melody now is going to go F, E, F, E, F, E. So in this way. And it kind of carries over the bar line. It's like a two bar pattern, which sort of feels like triplets. Which it is, it's kind of a triplet pattern that goes over two bars. So you can think of it like that, great. But underneath the bass keeps on going. So your challenge is to put those together, um, which is not that easy, but I would use the tab and just read it straight across as such. And really you only need to do it until halfway through that second bar and then you have just... All right, so that's the next bit. And you are just walking the fingers now. Uh, the main thing is to keep the tempo going. So if you don't far start too fast, you can continue at that tempo um, and make sure that bass run continues. Mm. It's kind of creates a bit of a basis, a rhythmic basis. Starting the melody at bar five. Okay, so we're up now up to uh, bar 9, 10, 11 and we change chord, we're gonna to go to E chord, same kind of pattern, but we've changed to an E shape. 
All right, so we've got the E, E's together and then fingering B and G sharp together. So your fingers are still playing those two second and third strings. But we're moving the bass down, E, G sharp, B, F, E, B. All right. Again, that's really reasonably straightforward if, you, if you've kind of got that technique down. I like to sort of put a little bit of an accent on the first beat. Let's continue on. So the next four bars, we're keeping the harmony in E and we have this, um, this melody on top. What I did mention before was that uh, it's in three, four or six, eight. And Paraguayan music especially has this three, four, six, eight kind of duality. Sometimes it's in three, four, sometimes it's six, eight. And the music often plays with that. And this is an example of that, where we have um, underneath, which is in three, and then this, these uh, six, eight patterns. So you kind of have this blending of the two rhythms. Okay, so to do it, you're gonna have to stretch a little bit. Okay, so it just means that the, the melody's on that first note, and then, and then it's on the accompanying note. its own it sounds quite dissonant it sounds quite harsh but um, in the context it actually works really well the F over an E is a, is a flat 9 so it's a, really, it's a very Latin sounding interval and uh, so it gives the melody a lot of uh, tension and it's also reflected in the bass so the next bar after that is again back to the harmony we go back to the same thing Again, we have the F, E, F, E rhythm over now this time the E bass. Uh, with the bass going E, G sharp, E, E, G sharp, E. Okay. For the last two bars, we're going to go back to A minor. So fingering the A minor chord. Slightly different pattern for the fingers. We're playing A. And we kind of like almost like an F chord. And then we go back to start. So there's the first part of Missionera. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. It's a pretty straightforward uh, harmony and technically I think it'll suit intermediate players, even some advanced players, and you may already know how to play this piece. You might find some extra clues on how to play it in this. And if you like the video, make sure you press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that and press the bell notification. I'll see you next video.